hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is debbie this video is going to be the continuation of my last upload and that was about how to draft the pattern for this particular blouse that i'm wearing so it is uh, very important to know how to cut and most importantly how to sew a lot of people do not know how to stitch or sew neatly and this is very key this is very key okay so if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you do and don't forget just click on that bell so that each time there's an upload you will be notified okay let's get started these are the patterns i want to use the front and the back patterns here i have my sequin fabric that i want to um, use as my yoke here is my yoke pattern now for this fabric this is crepe i folded my fabric um the center front is going to be on fold and for my back I will be cutting separately because I don't have much fabric to work with. This is a zipper allowance. So because of this, I will be cutting one after the other. So I'm cutting two times. I mean, the back panels are two. So I'll just cut one and one because of the um, little fabric that I have to work with. Here I came down from the um, down part. I came down by half an inch and um, drew a line to join the side of the front panel as shown and here you can see that i am not um, adding um, much seam allowance it's just about quarter of an inch seam allowance that i added um, here i added half an inch because i'm going to be joining the yoke to complete the front And I'm notching the waistline and I'm going to do the same on the back as well here I am cutting one after the other because I do not have much fabric to work with okay so If you are yet to watch the part one of this video on how to draft this particular pattern, I would encourage you to do so. And here is my yoke pattern. I am adding my normal allowance half an inch all around it now this is going to be um, like a facing for my yoke can you see this is what I have now for my cap sleeve here i have my sleeve pattern back and the front here this is just one inch from the bicep line down because it's a cap sleeve i don't need much you know the other part of the sleeve so um because it's a cap sleeve i'm going to come in by three quarter of an inch and you know the reason i am coming in by three quarter of an inch is because the blouse itself is a bit loose so of course i need to draft the pattern sleep pattern that will you know um fit in or conform with the bodies okay or normally you are supposed to um come in by quarter of an inch if it were to be a normal bodies pattern okay here i came up by one and a half inches 
and this depends on the length that you desire my cap height is six inches so i decided to remove one and a half inches okay i think it's not bad here i am coming in by three quarter and from the bicep line you connect to the three quarter points now i will be drawing my curve this point and the three quarter mark connect the two points with a smooth curve line and blend it as shown so this is my cap sleeve and um, you can add your seam allowance So this my back um, panels and the um, I have added stay to the zipper allowance on the wrong side can you see and this is where the zipper is going to be attached this is my facing for the back here is my zipper Here I'm going to be overlocking the raw edges of the two fabric pieces and here I am um, cutting using my pattern as a guide or template to cut my cap sleeve. And I am trying to notch the center point. okay so it's time for me to sew here like i said this net is going to be a facing for the yoke so we are going to be sewing it as shown and here as i am stitching i am removing the pins okay so it's time for me to top stitch This is what I have. So all you need to do here is to press with your pressing iron to have a neatly finished neckline. Okay, so the rest of my bodice is being attached with pins to the yoke to complete, to have a full front panel. Okay, and I'll be stitching or joining as usual. Okay, can you see what I have? Now here, this is the hemline of my sleeve and it's been overlocked. The white thing you're seeing there is the hair stay I used, no sorry, the hemming gum I used as I was trying to overlock. Okay. So, and here I folded the hemline of the sleeve once. I folded it in once and stitched. So, but please don't stitch the seam allowance on your sleeve pattern. Okay. So, once you are done hemming it, folding it in on the down part, then 
you can join the seam allowance together can you see so this is what i have and i've already overlocked it and here i can stitch the rest okay so now this is my zipper and it's time to attach my zipper the zipper has been attached can you see how neat it is beautiful right so this is my first scene and i've overlocked like i said and i am um, I'll be joining right side to right side and here as well and I will sew as shown. Okay, so once you do that, top stitching is key and here you need to move from the zipper by move away by half an inch before you start top stitching and now i will be joining the facing the zipper and the main fabric together this is the stitch line can you see and I will be turning, but before I do that, I'll trim a little and turn to the right side. And this is what I have. Ensure that this stopper is showing by the time you are done. The stopper on your zipper is key. It has to show, whether on your skirt or on your blouse or your top or whatever. Okay, very key this is my zipper and it's lovely right and see the neckline how neat it is this is the inside of it the wrong side and here i want to join the shoulders together the front and back so you're going to use the facing on the back to cover up the front and the rest of the back Can you see and I will join the two shoulders together done and see what it looks like this is what i have beautiful and now it's time to join the two sides together please ensure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and like the video i have overlocked the raw edges on the side and on the hemline can you see next is my sleeve so I'll be attaching with pins first before stitching I have attached already with the pins after attaching the sleeve to the main bodies I will hem the down part and that will be all for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye